everyone welcome back to my channel my name is Lisa if you're new around here today's video I feel is like an old school video because we're gonna do a cleaning video so many of you ask me for cleaning videos to bring them back and I feel like I don't really do them a lot in this house compared to our last house so I thought what I'd do today is do like a bit of a kitchen clean with me and also give you a little update on the kitchen itself because if you are new around here when we moved into this house the kitchen behind me was pretty much all orange the floor was orange the wood was orange and because we're not renovating this kitchen just yet we wanted to do something to kind of spruce it up and you know make it a little bit more our style and our taste we did that on a budget and i'll link the video down below for you so you can kind of see the transformation but i thought it'd be useful to kind of give you an update one year later to see how everything has worn how the paint is doing because i do get a lot of questions asking how the paint is holding up and all of that kind of stuff so Whilst we clean, I'll give you some updates on a few things around the kitchen. And I just thought it'd be a bit more of an interesting video to watch. So I really hope you enjoy it watching this video. I've just had a cuppa. I've also just had like the animal rescue around because we had a pigeon in our garden and I think it had like a broken wing. So it was only a baby as well. So it was in our garden and I was like, oh my God, what do we do here? Cause I didn't know what to do. So I rang them and they came and collected it. So fingers crossed, it's gonna be okay. She said it was quite a feisty one. So fingers crossed, it's gonna be okay um but yeah i've just been doing that this morning i dropped the kids off at school i've just had a cup of tea and now i feel ready to get started for the day so if you want to see me clean the kitchen it's not too bad but i just thought we'll give it a little spruce up today and yeah let's get into the video right okay so i thought i'd just show you around the kitchen before we get cleaning so this is what it currently looks like that is that this area over here is always a clutter zone it's also my makeshift office i always put my computer here because i'm always charging it here i'll often do work here or i'll sit down here and do my work i do get a lot of questions asking whether you know i'm going to have an office space in the house and to be honest i don't really feel like i need one i like working in the kitchen i'm pretty happy sitting down here although maybe in the future i might create like a small office space somewhere around the house like in a little nook of the house um, but yeah, this is my little charging station and it's currently a mess. Also the shelves, everything is just like plonked up there. There's no rhyme or reason to it. I just put things up there. So really we should do a little bit of restyling of the shelves today, shall we? I think that would be quite nice. And also I'm going to go cut some sweet peas in a minute from the garden and we can put some fresh sweet peas out because we've got sweet peas now, which is just the cutest thing ever. I love it. Another clutter zone, which seems to be happening more often than not at the moment, is this table. And I want to keep this as clear as possible, really, so I'm going to clean that up. Um, but yeah, Gigi's food's down there. I need to kind of sort that out. But everything else looks pretty good. To be honest, the kitchen itself has held up quite well over the last year. But um, I'll talk you through that in a second. Now we are in Gigi's cupboard, so as you can see it's pretty full in here, so I need to take everything out and just reorganise it. We've got some food to go in there and there's just too much stuff in here at the minute, so... So that looks a little bit more organised now and the box is away and empty. Gigi will get in any box that she sees. <laughs> Gigi, what's that? Is that funny in there? I just found this toy that we forgot to give her, so I'm going to turn it on and see what her reaction is. Hold on. What's that? What is that? What's 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 that?
ぜ Now I'm going to show you a close up of the sink and as you can see there are a little bit, a few different dark marks there and I'm going to use my magic eraser to get rid of those and as you can see it's got rid of it so so easily. This is fantastic. If you haven't got a magic eraser yet you need to try one. It gets rid of marks basically anywhere whether you've got pen marks on the walls or you want to spruce up your trainers. It is so so good. I get mine from Poundland and they just work an absolute treat. Right, let's move over to the fridge section. So I'm just gonna clean the fridge down, give it a good wipe down. This is like a stainless steel effect. So it's not completely stainless steel. It's actually really easy to keep clean this one. So I absolutely love it. I do have a few, a couple of dents on this fridge, even though it's new. I don't know how they happened, but if anyone knows how to get small dents out of a fridge like this, please let me know. I have seen a few different tools that you can buy on Amazon. If you've tried them, let me know because I'd like to get the dents out of them if I can.
Gigi is so cute. I'm going to take her out of the kitchen now so I can finish doing the floors. Stay up till late. Right, so the kitchen is all done now, so I'm going to give you a little close-up and show you how it all looks right now. I am glowing because it is so hot today. It's so, so humid. We've got a bit of a heat wave at the moment in the UK and, whoa, it's hot. So, yeah, that is just a natural glow that I've got going on today. Okay, so this is what the kitchen is looking like now. So it's much fresher, all tidy again. So let's start over here with this area. So I've just tidied this up, it's no longer a clutter zone. And I had a little rejig of the shelf at the top there, as you can see, it looks a little bit nicer up there. Now that picture up there, the painting is actually a charity shop find. I absolutely love it. I love um, having like old and new mixed in with the house. So I think it works really well. So if I come a little bit closer, you'll be able to see that we painted these tiles. So before we painted these tiles, they were green and just a little bit dated, but the shape of the tiles are actually a really popular tile at the moment. And I wanted to create a little bit more of a ceramic look for that kind of, I think they're called zilliage tiles. They look really similar to that. And Anyway, so what I did was I added a gloss paint over the top of them and they have held up so so well over the past year they're really easy to clean really easy to wipe down so yes they are a 10 out of 10 for me I would definitely recommend painting tiles especially if they are shaped like this I think it looks really good and it's definitely brightened up the space so so much if we come down to the actual cabinets and the paintwork let me come a little bit closer so you can see how it looks this is what it looks like and to be honest it looks as good as new so it looks exactly like we did it over a year ago now and we use the paint cornforth white by farrow and ball and we use the finish estate eggshell which is a really hard wearing finish it's got a slight sheen to it very easy to wipe down i've wiped these down numerous times and nothing has worn away so i would definitely recommend doing that so that is another 10 out of 10 for me and i would definitely do it again i'd love to paint the kitchen again but i don't really see the point in it i just you know you know what i'm like i like to change things up and i would love to have like a green kitchen one day although it wouldn't be in our like forever kitchen I think it would be fun to kind of paint this but for now I absolutely love it it's lovely and fresh and I love the colors of it so the worktop we got was from B&Q and it's a really thin worktop the reviews on the website weren't that great and I've had a few people message me since we got it asking how we're getting on with it if we've had any problems and we've had no problems at all there's been no chipping obviously this is a laminate so it is quite thin it could chip I suppose but we've had no issues so far using it over the last year um, there are a few little marks here so there's a little line here where you can see we've put the slow cooker on here in the past and it's probably it's like discolored or lifted this slightly so that's the only thing I can notice with the worktops but apart from that they are really good and I definitely say they're worth the money now moving on to something that hasn't really lasted very well are the handles so I spray painted these and they haven't lasted as well as you can see this is very well used this handle so if I come a bit closer you'll see it's all chipped off so before they were a stainless steel and we just sprayed them so they're a bit more of a matte finish and as you can see this is all chipping and coming through here so I would say if you're going to spray paint your hand doors, make sure you use a really good primer and really prep them before and give them a few coats. And if you don't mind respraying them every now and again, then go for that. But I would probably suggest just changing the handles altogether to create a new fresh look. If you've got the budget, it will definitely make it look so much better. And then you haven't got to deal with respraying them in the future. I would consider changing these in the future. 
um it just all depends really on how how long we're going to be keeping this kitchen this is the one thing that hasn't lasted in our budget kitchen makeover so if you've been watching my channel for a while and you remember the kitchen makeover from the start then you will remember that beneath this are some orange tiles so quite a large square terracotta color tile and we wanted to get rid of that although i didn't want to bring up the whole floor and retile it because i just didn't see the point in doing so and we wanted to make this as budget friendly as possible so we laid down or we had laid down a thick vinyl on the floor so basically it's like a big roll of vinyl and it was laid over the tiles so one thing to think about when you're doing that is to make sure that you've got a thick vinyl because there are different thicknesses in the vinyls and we went for i think one of the thickest that you can get and that way you're not going to see any of the grooves from the tiles that are laid underneath it so you won't be able to see any of like the grout lines etc so that has worked really really well of course this is not going to be really really hard wearing so if you've got children with toys and they're like throwing them down on the floor we have had one casualty somewhere let me show you where it is actually so just down here you'll be able to see that i think orlando maybe had a car and he kind of threw it down on the floor or sat on it or something and as you can see it's pierced it here so this can't be fixed really i don't really know if there is a way to fix it i don't think so other than obviously replacing the whole thing which is not something we're going to do but it's really minimal it's definitely something to bear in mind although i haven't found it an issue it's just something that has come up and happened so i thought i would definitely mention it to you if you're considering a vinyl because i didn't really think about that when we did this and it wouldn't have changed my decision i still think it was a great decision to change this to vinyl it's been really really great it's easy to clean and there's no discoloration within the grout lines so the grout always looks fresh because it's not real grout and i think it looks really fantastic in here so i'm really really pleased with that also another thing that i get asked about a lot is this sink this is another item that actually has got quite bad reviews on b and q website but we went for it it was just cheap and cheerful i liked the fact that it was white but because it's this kind of resin material on a lot of the reviews people said that it stained a lot and to be honest we've had no issues with staining we do have a dishwasher so i do do the majority of the washing in the dishwasher however i do obviously clean things in here that would stain it and i've got no issues with it so far there are a couple of little marks but for us it's been fine um if you're obviously using things like turmeric and things like that then it may stain i use a magic eraser which gets rid of a lot of the mark and as you can see it's still perfectly white and there's no you know marks or anything like it on there so yeah i think the reviews on the website are a little bit harsh we've had no issues with it it's quite a small sink but it's absolutely fine so yeah um that's a little review of the sink and i think that is pretty much everything in here we did change the light in here from when we did the makeover video that is just an ikea light of course we've got this um funky ceiling here but we're not going to do anything with that but the light yeah that one is from ikea we haven't bothered changing this light actually um i might change that to a different like pendant and lamp shade eventually but i don't really see the point in changing too much in here and then also we've still got the blinds that we ordered i think we got this one from swift blinds direct which is the same company we used to buy renzo's blind that is in his bedroom because you can have them made to measure and obviously we've got a large window here so we had that made and it's been really great as well so that is a little update of the kitchen and how it currently looks i am really really pleased with how it looks now i might do something with this area here eventually because the stainless steel is so hard to clean it always looks like it's got marks on it and it has got an actual mark on it that i can't get rid of because it's just on there um so maybe i'll pop some like i've seen some really cool vinyl tiles that you can put on there but i'm not really sure how i feel about that i would love to put something else there but i don't know for now but for, i think this looks great anyway so that is a little update and clean with me of our kitchen one year later after our budget makeover let me know what you think of how it's looking and how it's held up over the last year i think it looks really good and i'm really really pleased with it i cannot wait to renovate this room i cannot wait for this wall to be gone and for this to be one large space it's going to be so so good but good things come to those that wait and i'm definitely happy to wait because i want to make sure this is absolutely perfect so i can't wait to share that journey with you as and when we get to it but for now this is our kitchen i hope you enjoyed this video thank you so so much for watching guys let me know if you'd like to see more videos like this give this video a big thumbs up and please hit that subscribe button i will see you all in my next video bye guys yeah.